What's up guys, it's me again with another reaction video. And I have never reacted to this group before, but uh, this group's name is NCTU, they're K-pop, and I've never, ever, 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 ever listened to them. So, uh, as per popular request in the comment section, um, a lot of you guys have been saying react to NCTU's Boss, and that's the name of the song. Um, only boss I've heard was from Lil Pump, so you already know how that goes. Uh, anyways, without further ado, let's get straight into this. Boom. They uh, they definitely look like I'm not sure what it what, what it is about them so far, but their facial features already look a little different than like some of the other groups. I, I know it sounds weird to say, but it's just something I noticed off the bat. And then like the their style is def definitely a lot more uh, a lot more pop like a lot, and it, that sounds weird too. But it's it's actually straight facts. Like they look a lot different than a lot of the other groups I've been looking at. They, they look more like an ex like they, they, they rock express I'm not sure if you guys know what express is I mean I, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys do but if you don't it's just a um, company that sells like suits and stuff but so far they sound pretty good um, it's like this is definitely like a or more of a poppy song I guess in my opinion so. Interesting visuals, man. Like what it like what? <laughs> what the heck? I have never seen like a setup like this before. It looks like he's sitting inside of a, a washing machine, honestly. And that's a building, like what the heck? Okay. Hey, I like it, I like it, I like it. So this sounds actually more close to like Hmm, it's pop, but it's not pop. I okay, so I can't I can't okay, so it went from like sounding more like pop to uh like a hip hop. R&B type style a little bit, and I feel like that's what a lot of the K-pop groups are, are doing. They're like kind of gearing more toward to more uh, more appealing and stuff. But as far as dancing goes, they're not really dancing as much as some of the other groups and, and, and stuff like that. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. These guys definitely have like their fashion game on mad point. Like you see this dude wearing Givenchy like on the very end, like that's fucking crazy. Better boss. Hey. Okay. That's crazy. Yeah, you, you see, hear that? You hear that flow? That's definitely hip hop, man. That's definitely hip hop. So I guess, like, I can't even say it was pop, man. Like, this is dope. I like it. Hey, hey that's clean. I want to I replay that visual back real quick. Like, yo, when he's leaning back in the chair and all the chairs around him are leaning too, that's fucking dope. Hey. Yo, this is so clean, man. Like, it, it's almost like they're shooting a Calvin Klein commercial. Like, they have, like, they have Calvin Klein swag, man. Like, that's, that is dope. So, what I do have to say about the vocals, the vocals are different. I still think that BTS and EXO's vocals are better. And I know people are like, oh, don't compare, and I'm sorry, you know, we're in a society where, I mean, you gotta compare, so, I'm not sorry. Uh, but, yeah, like, I feel like their vocals are just, they're different, they're different, but I like EXO's and BTS's better, but the beats that they're picking to, like, uh, do their things to, like, it's pretty dope. But so far, I mean, they're not a bad group, I like them, they sound alright, they sound alright. Oh 
Hey, that's crazy. Okay, so now I can I can see the beat transitioning a little bit into a more of a poppy beat. So it went from hip hop to more of a pop. It was from pop to hip hoppy slash R and B, and it's transitioning to, and to, to more like pop now. And um, one big thing, like I'm noticing with these visuals, I mean they're dope. Like, man, like I, I feel like the the cameraman play, has the most important role in shooting these music videos. Clearly, you know, like. They dance, they sing, they're, they're, they're doing everything they possibly can to draw in the viewer's attention. And then you have the cameraman. The cameraman adds the nice, uh, the nice touch to make it look like, to amplify whatever they're doing by like 10 times or however many um, times they need to, 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 you know, to catch like everybody's, the, the audience's attention. It's fucking impressive to be honest. Like if you guys have watched WWE, if you watch like the fights in real life, they're kind of, they are whack, but I guess on TV they look amazing because the cameraman is out there doing like you know his best job so it's fucking it's nuts it's, it's almost like this now I'm not comparing you know NCTU to a fucking wrestling group I'm just saying the visuals on here are, are pretty unique I like them a lot and the cameraman did a decent job and whoever edited this did an amazing job <laughs> Uh, actually, you know what? I said it was poppy, and it kind of is, but it still has a hip hop vibe to it, in my opinion. It's just, yo, know, their, their hairstyle is one big thing that I think is throwing me off too, man. Like I know, like I was analyzing everybody else's groups and stuff. Like there's a there's a thing I think. What I, I mean, I mean, I'm in Korea right now, so uh, the, one of the most popular hairstyles I see is I'd say like okay so J Hope's hairstyle in um Cypher Part 4 like the the fucking subtitled you know uh lyric video that I did is what most people have here which is interesting and so what I see now um here it's it's like a I don't know it seems like more like a business you know very slick uh sleek you know look and whatnot but a lot of a lot of people, a lot of people now have the the more eccentric look, if that makes sense. So I mean, I guess it's like a big difference visually, in in my opinion, it's it's interesting. It's interesting. <laughs> Yeah, Yo, this is crazy. I don't know why they remind me of an artist back home, man. I can't remember who they remind me of. Oh, they kind of okay. So, don't quote me, but they have a like uh, I don't know, like a collaboration of like a Chris Brown and not August Alcina because he has a very distinct voice, but that. Maybe I throw in some some Ty Dolla Sign a little bit. Nah, a, bit, oh, a hint of it, a hint of it. Not 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 much, but like, you know what I'm saying? Like they have like a very like modern poppy like no modern hip hop slash R and B feel. And I know I say that a lot, but I'm really trying to identify what makes them different from the other groups. Their look off the bat makes them different. Like they have longer faces, more chiseled jaw lines and shit. Like it's 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 nuts. And like whoever this dude is, man, like, I mean, I like the the ear piercings and shit he has on. It's fucking crazy. And I'm not sure if that's like a choker or part of his his sweater right here, but I mean, the style's decent. I mean, it's pretty decent. They got the boss outfits on, I guess. I, I I mean, honestly, with all due respect, it is the the song. The name of the song is Boss. So I mean, they're probably gonna dress a little bit more sleek. I mean, and I haven't seen like any of their other videos. So this is my first impression of them. So yeah, I guess. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> what the heck is that? What the heck is that? Is that the giant iris? The fuck was that falling in the window? What 
the fuck? It's so weird. Okay, boss. Yo, that was actually pretty decent. I liked it. Um, you know, I don't know. I, th I thought that was definitely pretty cool. Now there was no close captioning. I know everybody's getting me on the get, they get they get on me in the comment section a lot about oh you need to find the meaning behind life and all that other bullshit in the video. And I don't honestly. I don't listen. I'm an international listener, and I can do. I, I like. I literally say I can do whatever I want when I want. And I, yeah, I, I really can. But it's not because my channel. It's not because whatever. It's like yo, everybody appre appreciates music a different way. Now, um, for me, it was interesting. A friend of mine's like, yo, why do you even listen to K-pop, dude? Like, you don't understand what the fuck they're saying. You don't speak Korean. You don't speak, you know, the language at all. So, like, why would you get, why would you listen to something you don't understand? And I'm like, listen, what, do you understand? I mean, like, there, there's certain groups that I catch some of my friends listening to, and I know for a fact they don't understand every word, you know? Like, I mean, I, I just feel like for me, it's expanding my playlist a little bit and I enjoy it I actually enjoy it you know like I don't have to understand what people are saying to enjoy a song they could talk about murdering babies and if it sounds good enough I'll listen to it I'm just being real like hey like that that's that's what that's what it is man like think about what blows up in the world and stuff and what people what people make popular like you don't have to understand it does it have a dope beat are they flowing then yes like if those two things are happening right now then the people will push it to succeed people will push that shit to succeed so um, yeah, like, I mean, I, li I liked it a lot. Like, they definitely seem like more of a, uh, how do I, how do I say this? Um, NCTU seems like an older group, I guess, based on what I, what I, um, what I'm looking at. Like, the members seem a lot older than in some of the other K-pop groups, and their style looks a lot more, um, I don't know, like, professional is what I should say and professional is not a bad thing at all like it, they just look more like business ready I guess like they look like like stockbrokers that you know got together and created a, a k-pop group and you know decided to do some big things and that's not a bad thing at all man I like it they just have a different style and that's what I was trying to like really pick out when I watched the video and I'm like hmm that's a little interesting and I've noticed a trend with the other k-pop groups and stuff and how they dress they dress more modern and stuff and they're like a lot more relatable to younger people but this one it's not that they're uh, it's not that I, I feel like a lot of younger people don't really dress like that which is fine I mean I feel like but I, I definitely know like a lot of like older people not like old people you know what I mean but like you know f full-fledged adults would wear like you know a lot of stuff they're wearing now granted most of the stuff they were wearing is designer brands so i'm saying their style not necessarily the designer brands that they're wearing and stuff like that but as far as the song and stuff goes beats were, all, were on point um they're flowing pretty nice and you know there's nothing bad i could say about it um the visuals are amazing uh like i said the the vocals uh i've heard better for sure but uh, I'm not gonna and the, they weren't trash. They were not trash. I definitely liked them. All. I, I, I appreciate the vocals, but you know after you start off listening to a group like BTS and then you, you listen to EXO and you listen to Day Six and Henry and Dean and blah blah blah. Now you have more of a selection of people to compare uh, your your music taste to, so you can actually ident identify whether or not you like the group instead of you know blanket statementing everything and saying, oh, I like all K-pop, all K-pop is awesome, you know, saying that to like so you don't step on anybody's toes. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you guys straight up whether I fuck with the, the group or not. And NCTU is all right. Um, I can see myself listening to a couple more of their songs. I mean, it, they're just. They seem like an interesting group. I don't have a total feel for them yet off of this one video because A, like, if you watch a music video from somebody, like, they have an objective when they shoot a music video with any artist, right? So they're trying to communicate a certain message. So in a music video, the song might be called Flower, and everybody in the video is wearing flowers. And then the person analyzing the video is like, hmm, this group wears flowers. I'm not sure if this is just a music video thing or, like, an everyday thing, blah, 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 blah. So you can't draw a complete conclusion off of one video because maybe there is a trend amongst all videos that they have. And I haven't noticed that yet because I've only seen one video. But so far, the verdict is they're good with me. And I will definitely check out more of their music. And if you guys have any other suggestions, go ahead and put those in the comment section down below. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching and um, growing as a community. You already know what it is. Um, if you can, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, turn on your post notifications and all of that fun stuff. And if you have, like I said, any other suggestions, 
drop them in the comments. So that was a sandwich, uh, you know, promo right there. And now that I'm done with that, uh, that's pretty much it, guys. I will be back next time with another reaction video. Peace.